Good afternoon. Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge, Denver, Colorado. Today, I'm doing a shave dedicated to the victims that include the family of 9-11. As with most people, it's a very dramatic day. My short version experience of it was I was on this really crazy medication. That some people liken to chemo. <clears throat> and when that happened, I was just blown away. I was just, it's undescribable. So I dedicate the shave to the victims and their families of 9-11 and uh, I pray that the politicians involved in our lives <clears throat> are going to take their head out of their ass <clears throat> and stop what's happening already. Anyway, uh, so today I'm going to revisit my need a blade, huh? Today I'm going to revisit the live blade uh, using an Astra in here. I can't. Uh, see the blade at the end on each side. Uh, <clears throat> are you still there? Okay. Anyway, uh, Checking the reveal, checking for any nicks. This is my second usage on this. Alright, the brush I'm going to use is the, the Smoke 1305, which I forgot was soaking in there. Uh, so I got the 1305. Um, let me get it hot again. Now, uh, I have this brush. This is one of my first brushes. This is the one I did for Throwback Thursday. And the knot is really loose in it. And I'm going to try to... See, it just turns like that. So I'm going to try to... <clears throat> there we go. Check it out. So, I could either put it in here. This is a little, a little too small. Oh, I might be able to stick it. This is a. This is one of the razor handles. This is a. This is a set in rubber, ever ready. Uh, uh, I could use that, or I could drill out this bouncing Betty, which would actually fit very nice. See that? Or this one here. I'll probably go for the, for the wood handle. This has got the, uh, what does this have? I think this has just the super glue on it. This one here has red latex paint and super glue. Now, check it out. All these brushes that I showed in my last video, I'm going to, uh, this guy actually has a bunch of, a bunch of uh, shave brushes. I can't wait to get my hands on those because 
those are going to be great. Anyway, today is Friday. That means it's Dutch Shaker Day. Love this stuff. If you have never tried anything from Maddie, Madame Scodioli, you need to. This stuff is the most excellent stuff ever. I have the puck blooming here. And I'll tell you, I look forward to Friday just because of that. So, to finish off, I'm going to do some Thayer's probably, and I'm going to try the white tea. I know it doesn't go with it. The white tea aftershave cream. This stuff and the shave cream have always been really big winners for me. Uh, just really super, super gentle. So... Uh, okay, by habit, I'm going to just go ahead and put some Noxema on. Uh, and uh, get me going on this real quick. And let's get this rock show started. Because my mama's in the next room, and we're going to go out. You know, when you got a real pretty girl like that with a good attitude and a good sense of humor, it doesn't matter, even matter where you go, as long as you're with her, you know, just as long as you're part of the conversation. And that's enough to make me happy. So let's do a little bit of bloom water. Mmm! So nice. So nice indeed. Alright, so let's pour me some bloom water in here, not very much. And let's lather this bad boy. Hope you all are having a good Friday, you got a good weekend planned. Uh, from what I hear, winter's coming early. So that means I need to get some firewood. I need to get uh, my Jeep up and running. For those of you who don't know, I broke a bolt in the crankshaft. Uh, I think it was already broke. That's why it's running like hell. Uh, because it was making... Uh, it's the bolt that attaches the harmonic balancer to it. I already drilled it out. I had to modify the body to get a drill in there and, and all this crap. And it's like, man... So I broke the bolt. Actually, I don't think I broke the bolt. I didn't hear nothing. Mm, 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 mm. Check it out. This stuff is outstanding. I just, I just realized what this, what the scent is. If I had to put it this way, without using any ingredients, I would say that this scent it has a little bit of a whiskey smell to it and a little bit of perfume. So it smells to me like it's a, uh, uh, what do they call that? Well, I'll call it a bordello. How's that? Now, I'm thinking that since winter's coming, I should grow a full beard. But to be perfectly honest, I think I'd probably go under in un, un convulsions because I can't shave anymore. So I'm thinking of leaving this, but then I want to shape my chin again with that razor. 
and see what it's like. See if I can master that because that's that was a big deal for me. I had a perfect, perfect shave. With the masters that Ed Water sent me, and also the lasers that uh, Mike Ramos sent me. Where is Mike Ramos? I've seen that guy for a while. Here goes. See, another thing too is I gotta remember not to press hard. Look how much that's cutting. Look how long. I don't know, it's probably been four days. Doesn't seem to be taking off a lot in that first pass. Hey, I shaved my chin. I'd like to go back to Idaho Springs for a little while. Does anybody, anybody uh, remember the old uh, arcade games uh, like Defender? They have Defender up there. Defender was like my all-time favorite and I was really good at it as a kid. Went up there a couple weeks ago and played it and got my butt kicked. <laughs> So oh, that was cool. So here we go. Dang, see I forgot to leave my side bones again. Okay, pass number two with the live blade. Oh man, see, I keep forgetting to turn this on. This razor is for sale, too.
Nice pass. Feeling pretty good. Pass number three. I forget to crank it up. I don't know how I forget to crank it up. This thing's big as a cue ball or cue stick. There's a little squirrel in there. My hair, my beard is especially coarse under my nose. You guys ought to see the mustache I grow. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> I've uh, used to put mustache wax on it because they would just stick up just a hair go bing and it tickle my nose drive me crazy and even the mustache wax couldn't completely control it wow and look and I feel like a hundred bucks and get a little bit right here a little bit more right here. Like I was saying, Madame Scolioli stopped making their soaps and aftershaves because they want to eliminate the palm oil from their recipe, which is noble because, you know, we use so much palm oil, we're just deforestating everything. 
And personally, I'd rather see a, a beautiful wild creature in a tree than to have something to shave with. Especially when there's other things out there. Don't get cocky, guy. You're going to cut your chin. I did cut my chin. Not bad though. Okay, one benefit of shaving with this is it's pretty safe. You can talk while you're doing it without worrying about cutting the hell out of yourself. And you don't have to hone that blade. <laughs> so. Alright, let's get some cold water. Absolutely wonderful shave. Man, thanks Ed Waters for the razors. Second time was definitely a charm here. So let me do a little, a little tidying up and let you guys get on with your day. No talking, no talking at all. Did miss a little bit right here. <clears throat> you ever see those guys and they they never shave? I run into them all the time. And you say, no, nope, I just take clippers and keep it kind of scruffy looking at them. Really, why would you deny yourself the pleasure of using these great products and having a face that looks like that, huh? All right, I'm going to use the uh, I'm gonna use some rose water, rose petal, witch hazel. to use some of the e-shave aftershave. Just creamy, just real creamy. Look at that. It's real creamy. You don't need very much, especially if your face is a little bit wet. So a little bit. Mm. You know what? I don't know if I want to sell that razor or not. I mean, literally, that's the only DE razor I have ever used in my entire life that I didn't hate. It's a nice razor. Now the piece de la resistance. stuff. If any of you guys want a sample of this, you let me know, man, because I'll tell you what, I'll send you a sample of this. This is nice. Now, what am I doing? Oh, loves this stuff. So I'm going to let that one dry and then put on another dose because Mama will follow me anywhere if I have this aftershave on. Right, Mama? <laughs> She's heard me talk so much crap. When I do it, it's more at all sad. Why fair? I think I use that term right. 
All right, so Gentleman's Edge shaves with the Staley Live blade using Ed Waters uh, Astro, which performed excellently. I used the today was Friday, so I did the Madame Scotioli dust shaker. I finished off with before that the e shave. Uh, this one is a white tea aftershave cream. That stuff makes your face feel incredible. I'm telling you. Uh, if you don't, if you ever tried e shave, I would encourage you to do so. So look forward to some shave brushes, all vintage, of course. There's one there that I really liked. I keep complimenting somebody. I don't forget who it is. But the handle's got a knob just on the end like this, and he's got one. I'll probably have to uh, have to finish it though. Anyway, Gentleman's Edge, uh, Friday night, going out on the town a little bit, and uh, uh, this is a shave for the 9/11 uh, victims and their families, and uh it's, it's that's that's just we need to to use that as a wake up call we need to keep that as a wake up call that there's always somebody out there willing to hurt uh america so uh y'all take care and remember every day is a good day for a shave all right bye